Where can you find a place with background radiation up to 80 times higher than normal? Chernobyl is the wrong answer, but the comparison is not without reason. I agree with you that this is a mini Chernobyl in its way. This place is a stone's throw from Baku, the capital of Azerbaijan. The city's fortune was built on oil extraction, and the elegant buildings are a testament to its wealth. With surging oil prices, the oil boom continues, but it took its toll. Less than an hour's drive from the city are the ruins of two iodine factories surrounded by abandoned derricks, oil rigs, and lakes of stagnant water. Oil comes with plenty of water, containing natural radioactive elements and many minerals. Iodine was evaporated from this groundwater until the factories were closed down in the 90s, already a radiological disaster. Activated coal absorbed radioactive elements in the process of purifying water before extraction of iodine. Accumulated on the territory of these two factories are about 200,000 tons of waste contaminated by radionuclides, including equipment, soil, construction materials and installations. Stocks of coal have not been replaced for many years and accumulated excess radioactivity. Many tons of this radioactive waste lie unattended in the open air. Their level is 60, 70 and in places 80 times higher than background level admissible for environment. The winds blow tiny eel particles onto the houses nearby. Inhaling them can be a potential health hazard for people who settled here. They are refugees who fled from the zones of conflict with Armenia and took up empty offices of this former enterprise. The International Atomic Energy Agency has stepped in to help relieve the crisis. The government of Azerbaijan has requested agency to provide assistance to solve this radio-ecological uh, problem, but it requires the huge investment. Uh, we are looking for uh, donor agencies to help us, but I am sure we will take up uh, this challenge and will relieve this not only radio-ecological, but also humanitarian problem. This is Vadim Muchkin with UN Television for the CNN World Report.